make sure you put on your uh, hand sanitizer. All right, that's we kind of yucky. We went to a Goodwill. Mm. It sucked. <laughs> it sucked the good time. It's uh, in Hinder, Tucky is what they call this place. So it's kind of like super white trash. So if they see name brand. To check the price up. Yeah. yeah. Calvin Klein, $24.99. Yeah. They're like, oh, that's a name brand. That's 20 bucks. Yeah. But anyways, we got these new tags. Uh, Levi's 527s for 20 bucks. And it's senior day, but we didn't get a discount on like any of this stuff. So. Not on the red tag, unfortunately. And then we got, these are $12.99. I got a couple pairs of these. Tyndale Flame Resistant Cargo Pants. Oh. I sold, sold these before a bunch of times for like 30. Okay. This is just a carbon to cobalt sweater. It's like a 2XL. So we paid like- That's nice. I don't know, 350 for that. Oh. And then a rain spinner shirt, which we also paid like 350 or something like that yeah, yeah. okay we got 40% off all That's right there's some because yeah Bubba has me okay bye too big, too big. Let's see. go back a little bit and the material wants to yeah it's too big it's too big so we went to another goodwill you don't have to talk unless you have something to say okay we went to I always have something to say. We went to another Goodwill. <laughs> it wasn't that great. No. Got a REI co-op. This one is called like Shade Sun Hoodie or something. This pretty it color. Had, it had 100% sell through rate. We get 40% off on everything because of her. Um, and we just found a Wrangler Pearl Snap in like a kind of a cool pattern. So I oh grabbed Lord, it. look at all those buttons. <laughs> <laughs> Um, this is a German, a German army, like field jacket. It's vintage from 1997. The pattern is called uh, Flectarn, I believe. It's like one of my favorite camo patterns, Flectarn. The comps aren't super good if you just like look up the brand. But uh, I think cause I know the specific type of camo pattern and a lot of people don't, I can get like 30, 35 for that. Mm -hmm. Um, pair, pair of Peter Millar, kind of like slim fit chino pants. Okay. These are good. These are, uh, little, little, little. Under, Armour. Under Armour. Under Armour. Under Armour, uh, tactical pants. They're ripstop. Some of these are really good. Real high sell through rate. I actually don't remember if these are good or not, but I grabbed them anyways. They're just Boy Scouts nylon. It's got the Boy Scout emblem mm -hmm. down there. Cargo the shorts. They used to be really good. I I don't know if they're still good. I guess we'll see. Yeah, and that's it. Not too much. Not too much. I found nothing. Oh, well, we did buy the oh, Christmas she, tree stand. She found a Christmas tree stand for $7.99. And she found a pink shirt that she tried on. And it was, yeah, it was too, too big. Too big and yeah. stuck to my stomach. So we're going to go to another good one. What are they doing? They're gonna get hit by a car. Your face, your hat, you look beautiful. So we went to another thrift store. Um, unfortunately, I can't show you what we got because we had to get out of there because my enemy was there. <laughs> I call him Red. A bald-headed man. Hey, don't tell. <gasps> oh, that's a sorry. That's. <laughs> he might secretly watch the that, that well. Yeah, but. That's okay. I don't like the guys. We always end up on the same route. Yeah. And uh, one time I smiled at him, and he just kind of scowled at me. <laughs> I mean, it's totally obvious that we're both going to the same stores every day, and we're on the same routes all the time. Like it's kind of weird not to acknowledge it, so I gave him a smile, and then he was like. But anyways, we saw him there, so we had to dip out of there quick. What we got there was we got, for my girlfriend, I got two Mountain Hardware base layer shirts because she likes those. Can you see me fine? Oh, yeah. Is oh, your my, finger? Oh, my finger got in there. So oh. are you looking through the... I, I see. I saw was your finger there the entire time? No. No. Okay. No. Uh, we got two <laughs> shirts for my girlfriend, two <laughs> Mountain Hardware base layer shirts that she likes. Then I got a um, another Wrangler Pearl Snap, and then um, he, he don't even know. 
Because you ran out of there so fast. A pair of young LA pants. And then... You only bought $21 worth of stuff. So... Oh, can we have the air conditioner on? It's yeah. kind of hot. Well, it's, it's, it's the sound quality for the video. Oh. Uh oh. I guess you'll just I let, let, let mama burn up here. There. But then, yeah, so we have to rush to the next one. It's serious. You see red. You got to check out and get to the next one before. He does, so we got to. I've seen him come into the thrift store. He sees me, and then he leaves immediately. I mean, if I was him, I would hate me too. But he's probably going to hit that one and then hit the Salvation Army up here. We're just gonna skip the Salvation Army, go straight to the Goodwill, and yeah. get so, two stores ahead of them. Salvation Army is not very good, generally. Yeah, but. But you know, hey, you go where you go. You know, we'll see. Maybe Red watches the videos. Okay. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Um. Tell them about your. So to give you an idea of how things are priced, um, it seems like a certain brand is always the same price so i found a pair of vince Camuto. yeah i think that's Camuto. you know i mean that's a decent uh department store brand and someone had bought them for 4.99 and and i know it was legit because it looked like a store i'd been to before where you know they mark things down at the very end to near nothing and goodwill was trying to sell them for 14.99 and they had a red tag on there because they considered that a good brand. So, not really sure who will pay $14.99 for a pair of pants that somebody paid $4.99 for. So, that was a very long-winded way of okay. <laughs> saying that. She she found a pair of pants that was originally, from the original store, was marked at $4.99. And then Goodwill marked it up to $14.99. Okay. okay, this is... This will probably be our last check in here. That oh, looks worse. We're done for the day. We beat red here and we got some stuff. We got, this is called, I believe this one's called the Ella Bean Sun Washed Canvas Shirt. It's pretty good, like 20, 25 bucks. Um, then we got a vintage champion tag. Uh, Saskatchewan. What does that say? No. I don't know. Some weird university. I think it says Saskatchewan. No, Sus Saskatchewan. Saskatchewan. University. I don't know what that is. Where in the blue blazes is that? <laughs> I get the vintage college sweatshirt, so. We got some outer known. These are like cotton board shorts. One of the buttons on the back is cracked in half, but it'll still be fine. Then this is a new brand to me. There's seven listed, 11 sold of these t-shirts. So over 100% sell through rate. The company's called Mott and & Bow. And I got one more in here. The gray one, I think. Yeah. Two, three, four of those. So I'm gonna blow up the whole market on those. Yeah. And then this was the a good find. Two pairs of Lululemon. I think these are commission pants. Oh no, these are ABC pants. Yeah, two pairs of those. Are those men's? Forty percent off of six ninety nine. Yeah, they're men's. Oh, well, somebody missed that one then, huh? Yeah. Well, they don't really price the men's up like they do the women's. So that's gonna be it for the day, probably. Yeah. Until tomorrow. Maybe, yeah, we'll see. Bye. Happy thrifting. So, unfortunately, girlfriend's mom had to leave us due to a family emergency. So, it's just me now. But I got some stuff for you to view from the thrift yesterday. All right, we got a pair of... I'm actually not sure if these are good anymore. They're uh, Barbell Apparel Chino Pants. Uh, I think I bought two of them yesterday, but I looked at my store last night and I've been listing them and they just haven't been selling and I didn't realize it, but these used to sell for like 45, 50 bucks. So I'm going to have to go in and, uh, drop the prices on all of them by about, I don't know, maybe 20 bucks. Just list them for like 30. Here's a pair of 511 tactical pants. 
Women's, unfortunately, but they're new. Pay twelve dollars for them. I don't know, probably like thirty bucks. And another pair of those with the taggies. Uh, I sell. It's kind of like uh, with Under Armour, their golf pants. It's just a really good bread and butter item. If they're used, you list them for like twenty four eighty eight plus eight thirty shipping. If they're new, list them for like thirty five. Then we got a Dixon t-shirt, just like a double-sided graphic print. Basic thing for four bucks. Dixon, their button-up shirts are really good. Not quite sure if their t-shirts are that great, but I grab pretty much everything Dixon that I find. Then we got a uh, uh, Barbell X Talander shirt. I have no idea what Talander is, but uh, Barbell this shirt will probably sell for like 15 bucks. The brand just, uh, I don't want to take credit for it, but I think I just completely blew it up. It had pretty low volume, but a good sell through rate. Um, and then I just listed a ton of it uh, and then it stopped selling well. Then we have a pair of 517s. One of the uh, styles of Levi's that I do like to pick up. Pretty much pick up like the baggier styles and the bootcut styles. Those are the fastest selling. Then a pair of women's corduroy Levi's. These ones are the high-waisted mom jean. Well, this is for like 30. Those are only six bucks. Some, sometimes like with the women's jeans, they price the women's jeans cheaper than the men's jeans. But for like the athletic clothes, they price the women's stuff like double what they price the men's, which is weird. Uh, here's a Lululemon t-shirt. It's got some pit stains on it. So we'll wash that. Then we got some Viore shorts. These are always good. For like over 30 bucks. Uh, I wish I could remember what this style was called. These might be the Banks short. I'm not sure. I think they're the Banks short, if I had to guess. Here's the logo. And this is probably the find of the day. This is like such a good brand. I sold a couple of these for around 60 bucks. Uh, the company's called Velocity System. Velocity Systems. Um, they make like performance tactical clothing. So they have like the Velcro weird pocket, pocket things there. Super good brand. Look it up. I haven't looked it up in a while, but I'm guessing it's still good. And just some polo ruffler and like waffle knit thermal shorts. Pretty much all their thermal like knit materials are pretty good for like sweatpants like those little lightweight hoodies uh, we got a pair of uh, military pants these ones i think are from 1951 like um cold war era or uh sorry korean war era their wool Probably just like 30 bucks on these. They're not as valuable as you would think, unfortunately. They smell fine for something that's 70 years old. And I don't think there's any holes in them, so. Cool find. And then we have another type of uh, military thing. This is, the company is called O-T-T-E. I don't know if that's O-T or O-T or whatever. But it's pretty tricky to identify. If you just look at the size tag on the back of the waist, it looks just like one of those cheap, generic Chinese companies. So you have to like go inside the front pockets, and then you're like, oh, usually the military stuff, there'll at least be something on the front pocket. But no, you have to look under the pockets. And there's the tag. And these have two new with tags listed for 200. And then there's like three or four sold used for like 75 so i'll probably list them for like 100 to 150. yeah they're called the uh alpine trouser they're like kind of like a soft shell uh cold weather pant then we have some more barbell 
performance chino pants, which unfortunately, like I said, aren't as good anymore. But we'll see. Maybe I'll list them for cheaper and they'll start selling. And if not, I'll just completely stop buying that brand. But I used to love that brand. So I'm, I, I stay pretty loyal, um, even when it's not so smart to do. Then we have a vintage Made in USA Roper, like Western shirt. If they have the cool colors or like an Aztec print, I grab them for the vintage Western shirts. Even when they're nothing brands like this one, like this is like exactly the type of pattern you want for a Western shirt. So obviously we grabbed it. This company is called Western Plains Trading Co. It's not good, but the pattern is good. So I'm gonna list it for like 2888 or something like that. Here's my favorite style of Levi's, 527s. I think I like them even better than like silver tap baggies. Even though silver tap baggies sell for more, these are just so common and they're so fast selling. That's what it looks like there, 527. Found these on the ground, under the rack. So always check the ground. But yeah, I highly recommend grabbing these and listing them for like $35. These I thought were good, and then when I was in line and I was like, oh crap, these are slim fit. What am I doing? But I just got them anyways. If these didn't say slim right there, and they instead said baggy, these would be really good. But they're just super mid. And they're not vintage, they're like modern silver tabs, but silver tab still is just such a good keyword. And we'll get a lot of views, and eventually someone who wants skinny jeans will buy them. Here's some more Levi's skinny jeans. These are just premium ones. These are like a $20, $25 item with the big E. They're a good color at least. Some Lululemon shorts. These are, I'm not sure what style these are. They're not pace breaker, but they're lined. I didn't look at the inner lining. It's white. So let's see, do we have skids? It's kind of an off-white, fortunately. I'm not seeing any skids right now. There might be, I don't know. I'm definitely gonna wash it just in case. These are good. Built, built the shirts suck completely and absolutely right now, but built pants. Oh, there's my belly. Are super fire, super good. Oh, this one for like, 40, 45 bucks. I find them new at tags a lot here, but these are used. Here's another pair of those. I actually haven't looked up the Weekender pant. I usually sell more like the Performance Chino ones for like 45, 50 bucks. But these are like a Viore, you know the Viore ripstop pants? These are like a rip off of those. They even have the same exact zip pocket right here. Um, Hopefully these are good. I know I just talked them up a lot, but we'll have to look up built weekender pants and see if that's any good. I just grab Chubby's everything. It's like a stretchy golf shirt. It's probably like 20 bucks. Maybe more, maybe less. But just generally Chubby's has always done really well for me. Oh shoot. Here. Oh, Free Fly. This is a good brand. Usually, I'm not sure if it still is. I know this is just me just saying I'm not sure about a lot of stuff, but look it up for yourself. Do some research here. This isn't all about me just telling you what's good. I'm telling you what I buy. So, this is like a lightweight hoodie, like one of those uh, UPF sun hoodie type things. I'm sure it'll be fine. It's not the season for this stuff. I've still been buying a ton of shorts. A bunch of golf shirts, uh, crap like that, which isn't necessarily going to sell very fast right now. But they're just stocking a lot of it in the thrifts, and a lot of people aren't buying it, so I'm grabbing it. 
Area genes. <laughs> Looking up the cell to read on a lot of them that I find have actually passed on a bunch of them lately that were priced up higher. These ones were 10, so I just grabbed them anyway. Um, but usually they price these for like 15, 20 bucks around here. Um, they're not as good as they were. I know, it sucks, but. I'm still gonna grab them if they're priced right, but like, when you find them, look up the sell through rate for the size you have and the style you have. Like, the ones I passed on the other day were a pair of like, it was like 3230, like, what is it called? Uh, M4 flame resistant ones or whatever. And you would think those would be awesome because they used to be awesome. But there was like 30 listed and two sold. It was crazy. Um, we have a Lululemon Henley shirt. Hopefully men's. It's kind of a uh, ambisextrous type shirt. I don't know if that's a word. I just got a pair of Nike like jogger Athletic sweatpants, these always do really good when you look up the style code. So we're gonna do that and you just grab this little guy, look underneath. And nine times out of 10, when you look up, this is like kind of blurry right now, but it's the, so there's gonna be a string of numbers and then the size and then the one under the size is what you wanna look up. You just type it into Google images and then type Nike. Nine times out of 10, it's like 100% sell through rate if they're modern. And these ones look pretty modern. We got some Nike ACG shorts. Yeah. These aren't that great. The waistband's kind of blown out, but fortunately they have a drawstring. Might try them on. We have a vintage. Pittsburgh Steelers crew neck sweatshirt. It's like a Lee sport one. It's not super duper vintage, probably late nineties, early two thousands, but it's pretty cool. It has like the contrast collar. Somebody would buy that. This one is much cooler, my personal opinion. It's got like this almost all over print here. I went to a Raiders game the other day. If this was a Raiders thing and I found it one week ago, that would be real cool. But, yeah. It's not. And I found it yesterday. Here's another Western shirt. This one is Panhandle Slim. I think it's vintage. Based on that tag. It's got a cool, like, geometric. I'm gonna put the word Aztec in there print um, it's pearl snap probably just for like 25 28 dollars it's not that cool but i don't really grab like you're gonna see a million dillion plaid and plain colored western shirts those are pretty much junk unless it's a really good brand um, or like new tags or super just vintagey um just avoid the plain ones because there's so many people listing cool ones that why would they buy your crappy plain one? And they're kind of a dime a dozen here so I can just kind of wait till the good ones appear. Just a L.L. Bean non-vintage wool sweater vest thing. L.L. Bean sells super good during the winter, especially wool, flannel, chamois. This is good. This is a uh, Polar Alp Lauren, like heavy cotton corduroy shirt. Might throw in the word jacket. If it's something I would consider wearing like open with a t-shirt under, it's a heavier, I'll call it a jacket. Like a heavy button up shirt. And that's what this is. Um, for Polar Alp Lauren, you got to just have sold enough of it to know what's going to be good and what's not going to be good. If this was just black, plain cotton, not corduroy, it would still be on the rack. Corduroy is just a really good material this time of year. Actually, all year round, it's a good material, but especially right now. 
These are just some basic ass Duluth pants. I must have been getting desperate. Usually at some point in the day, I get desperate and start picking up Duluth. Ugh. And then we have something not that great. Just a pair of John Varvados, like skinny jeans. They sort of have the tag, but they're definitely not new because there's like stains on the knee. Probably it's like 25, 30 bucks. Uh, anything else here? This isn't from yesterday, but I found these cool uh, vintage chaps for Alf Lauren overalls. And just a uh, Psycho Bunny t-shirt that I had to steam. Yeah. So that's it. Thank you for watching.